What's up all you carcamaniacs out there? This is Carcamo, the forger. Okay! And today, Carcamo Gaming, guess what? We're in the highest summit of Panama, the Volcan Baru, specifically 3,475 meters. And it was hard, but I did it just for you guys because I'm gonna do a special unboxing of the Rise of the Tomb Raider, a special collector's edition, whatever you wanna call it. What do you say if we start right away because right now I'm shitting my pants because of the wind and I don't want to fall to my doom. Somebody get me down. <laughs> we interrupt our program to bring you this important message. When I think of an adventure game, the first thing that pops in my mind, it's Pitfall for the Atari 2600. Yup. I'm that old. But let's go into the future of 1996, which is now the past. Fuck! Ah, 1996. My favorite year in game. So many great memories. But well, let's keep this video focused. The first Tomb Raider came out and it blew me away. Those awesome FMVs. No retreats. No retreats. Yeah, um, great graphics. Thank you. Um, they were for the time, really. Just look at the screen. That's a lot of elements for the PS1 to handle. <clears throat> a sexy Indiana Jones female protagonist. Um, again, different times. An excellent game pool. <laughs> Fuck it, I still love this game. To sum things up, this was all great back then. The first few games of the franchise haven't aged that well. But what I'm trying to say is that there was a time where Lara Croft was on the top of the world. She had a big ass line of action figures, she was in magazine covers, and her own 15 block memory card. Wait, what? This is so freaking creepy. This doesn't seem right. I can't believe this existed. Okay, okay, okay. A hell bunch of games, a re-release and a reboot later, and here we are, the rise of the Tomb Raider. And boy, oh my god, Laura, how much have you changed, babe? Mmm, just look at her. I just wanna, mmm, those, those triangles? Well, I guess if I was a woman and my boobs were triangles, I would get them fixed too. By the way, did you know that Laura's tatongas were made by quote unquote accident? Toby Gard, the creator of Tomb Raider, increased Lara's tatas by 150%. He showed it to his co-workers as a joke. But of course, they were man and loved it. And boob history was made. Returning to the subject at hand, I've beaten 2013 Tomb Raider a couple of hundred times. Okay, not that many, but you know what I mean. And I never had enough of that awesome adventure. And for me, a game is great when you beat it and you want to play it again, again, again and again and again. Well, you get the picture. So, I waited enough for this sequel, so I have my game set up, ready to play some freaking The Rise of the Tomb Raider. Right. Now, back to our show. At first glance, when you look at the box, 
you get all excited because it's huge. That's what she said. And you think to yourself, there must be a lot of goodies inside this collector's edition. But inside that box, there's another box. You're like, okay. And inside that box, there's another box. And finally, inside that other box, that's where you get your items. Um, April's Fools, I guess? Right off the bat, we have this envelope. And uh, let's see, what does it have? Okay, we have here a letter. Yeah, it's windy out here, so let's be careful. Uh, I'm gonna read it for you guys out loud. And it says, <clears throat> I have enclosed everything from our archives that may be of use to you. We believe that Lara Croft is still unaware that we have been monitoring her, monitor, monitoring her, monitor, I can't say that word, but that cannot last forever. The time will come when you will have to act. I trust you will know when the day arrives. So what else do we have here? It feels pretty hard. Hey! We have the steel book. The steel book, it, it looks pretty awesome. It has like a like a bevel engraved into it. It's the logo of Lara's um, medallion. Another envelope. They say they gave us all we need, so this is a what is this? Oh, it's like a it's like a ledger, like a diary or something. I think it's leather. Ugh. Yeah, it smells like leather. Not that, that I'm gonna use it anytime soon. I think this is the medal. Okay, no, maybe it's a coin. I don't know what is it. I can't throw this because it'll, you know, I don't want a letter. Uh, I'm gonna use my pockets. Here we have the the medallion that Lara uses. Yay! There's the, everything there. And uh, well, I'm not gonna use this also, but if you want to, well, you know, be my guest. Lara Croft. Yes. So there she is in all her plastic and uh, resin statue glory. Uh, we have Lara Croft. And uh, I gotta tell, I don't wanna be a douche, but hey, I'm, I speak with the truth and I don't like it. I'm gonna tell you why. Actually, everything except for one thing, and I'm gonna get to that, it's, it's pretty well done. Like it has the details, you can see that she has the gun in her holster, or the gun, you know what I mean. She has like the, the grappling thingy, I don't know how do you call that. Uh, she has like a, a glow stick, like she has the glow stick. She has the arrow, a knife, the bag, everything. And also she's on like on a little mountain and you can see like her, her, foot, her footsteps, the, the foot tracks, you can see it. And it's all detail except for one solitary thing. And I think that's important. It's her face. But seriously, just check her face in the cover art. Do they look alike? Nope. I guess it could be worse. At least she doesn't look like, oh my god, Lee, don't kill me! Oh my god! Now my final thoughts about this collector's edition. And I gotta tell you something. Uh, it's not worth the price that they're asking. You know, I'm a, I'm a sickie and I'm a hoarder and I gotta have them all because I go crazy. 
and uh, I'll, I don't want to commit suicide or anything, but that's beside the point. The thing is, what you're getting is not worth it. So if you want to wait a little more or get it by second hand, that's my recommendation, really. And also, like, when I play Uncharted, uh, it reminds me a lot of Tomb Raider. Hi, I am Lara Croft. Hey, what's up, Lara? Wanna make out? Yeah, sure, let's do it. And I, really, I can't have enough of Tomb Raider. The, the last two games, the reboot at the Rise of the Tomb Raider, they're awesome. I love the puzzle treasure thingies. And I can't wait till it gets to PlayStation and let's see if they, Crystal Dynamics, gave us, give us Tomb Raider 3 or the Rise of the Rise of the Dark Tomb Raider Night or whatever. I just want to say thank you for subscribing. I liking my videos. Remember, this is Catacombo Gaming. Like or die.